Hello and welcome to this lecture and in this lecture what we will learn is that we will learn how to create a navigation drawer. So if you are confused a navigation drawer is something which looks like this. So this is actually uh, like a menu which slides out when you basically tap on the left hand side of your screen. This is the kind of menu which you get wherein we have the image over here and we have another image on the image over here and then we are going to have a bunch of options over here. So this is what a navigation drawer looks like and we are going to learn how to design the same in Android. So what we are going to do for this lecture is that we will be creating a brand new Android Studio project. So make sure to create a new project and let's name this thing as a navigation app. Click next. Select the API level to be equal to 15. Click next. And here instead of selecting the empty activity, what you can do is that you could select the navigation drawer activity. So Android Studio basically provides you with a feature to add the navigation drawer by default. So simply click next and let the name of your main activity be main activity and finally click finish. So when this thing actually loads up, what I would recommend you to do is that I would recommend you guys to have a few images with you to work with. So in this lecture, what we will do is that we will try to add images to the navigation drawer. So what I have done here is that I've basically uh, taken these two images. So this is one image, which is a PNG image, which we will be using for the background of the navigation drawer. So this is what the image looks like and we are going to have another image which is all which we already have which we have used in the list view application and that is this burgers image right over here. So what we are going to do now is that we are going to learn how the navigation drawer works. So I am going to open up Android Studio over here and hopefully our project is loaded up over here. So it's actually having problems loading up our layout. So in this situation, so what you need to do is that you need to refresh the layout and hopefully that should work. Okay, so as you could see, now we have our layout up and running. And as you could see, now if you go to this menu folder, and now if you go to the layout folder, as you could see, now instead of having the single content main.xml file, we also have a bunch of files because now this is a navigation drawer. So if you go to activity main.xml, this is going to be the navigation drawer and this is how it's actually going to look like. And if you go to app bar, this is basically your action bar. The content main is the main activity and the nav header underscore main.xml is nothing but the navigation drawer. And here you could basically go ahead and customize these things on the navigation drawer. But for the sake of this example, what we are trying to achieve here is that we are trying to change the background of this navigation drawer. So for that, what you do is that you open up the drawable folder. And as you could see, there are a bunch of files here as well. So if you open up the site underscore navpar.xml, as you could see, this is the color which we are having in the background. And what you could do is that you could essentially go ahead and explore all these things by yourself. So if you click over here and if you go to the XML code over here, as you could see, the green color actually originates somewhere from here. So if you have a look at the app header layout, it is in the layout slash nav header main file. So if you go to layout and nav header main, as you could see, this is the layout. And if you go to the text view of this nav header layout, as you could see, this is the image view. This is the text view and this is another text view over here. Now, if you wish to change this thing right here, what you have to do is that first you need to copy the image, which is this image into your application. So I'm just going to copy this image, go back to Android Studio. I'm going to paste this image into the drawable folder right over here and paste it to the drawable folder. And let's name this thing as back.png so back stands for background and in here what you could do is that to this background instead of this side nav bar what you could do is that you could simply type in the image which we have which is nothing but back so as you could see as soon as you add the back image this thing actually changes so we have successfully changed the background now let's also go ahead and change the text views which is this one and this one so let's say this uh, text view says something like uh, burger shop so let's change this to burger and let's change this thing to shop 
So let's say we are developing an application for burger shop and the by default text appearance is actually set over here. So in order to change this, you could basically delete this and you could have your own text size. So you could type in text size equal to let's say 30 dp. And let's say the color which you want is going to be something else. So you could specify that as well. But for now, let's leave it as it is. And now also let's go ahead and change the second text view. So I have basically uh, removed this thing from here and let's set the text size to 20 dp. So that is going to be text size is let's say 20 dp. And let's say the text is going to be something like uh, best burger burgers in town and I guess the size is quite bigger so let's make it 10 and we are basically good to go so now as you could see we have pretty much customized the navigation drawer so now let's learn how to basically change this image view so the first thing which we will do is that we will also import the image which we want here so here we basically want this burger one image so let me just go ahead copy this uh, written back to Android Studio, paste this image in the drawable folder, hit OK. And what you could do is that you could set the layout width to be let's say 75 dps and the layout height to be 75 dps as well. And I guess 75 is going to be quite a lot so let's make it 50 and that would work fine. Okay, so once we have set the size, what we could do is that we could add the image over here. So the first thing which we do is that we get rid of this icon. And here we are going to type in sources add drawable slash the name of the burger image, which is burger one. So as you could see now we have the image nicely fitting on our application right over here. So if you go back to the main navigation drawer, and if you have a look as you could see your navigation drawer looks completely different so we have learned how to customize the first part of your application that is basically the navigation bar header now in the next lecture what we will do is that we will learn how to customize this bottom part of your navigation drawer so we will learn how to basically go ahead change these options change the icons of these options and how to basically make these icons or options functional so that whenever we go ahead and click those icons we will be redirected to some new thing so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys next time thank you